He said, when God calls you out of this place to the land of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, when he calls you into that promised land and he makes a way of escape, he said, take my bones with you. Take my bones. Well, you know, and I know that sounds kind of weird by our standards today. But he said, I don't want to be buried here. He said, I want you to bury me in the land of promise. He said, he said whenever, whenever you walk by my tomb, I need somebody that's going to say, when it's time, we're not leaving him behind. Because in the tough times, in the times of frustration, in the times of discouragement, I believe that all they had to do was walk by the old tomb of Joseph and say, whew. God's still with us. God's going to visit us. God's going to make a way. Whenever they begin to talk about Joseph, amen, Joseph's life represent, it represented somebody who trusted God. In the face of adversity, he just said, God's going to make a way. From the pit to Potiphar's to prison, God's still going to make a way. He said, when, I, when, when, I, when these bones represent the fact that you can trust in God, that God can do the impossible, that God will show up, that God will, oh my Lord, he said, I'm telling you, God will visit because God visited me. He visited me in the bottom of a pit when my brothers turned on me. He visited me in Potiphar's house when I was a slave. He visited me when I was in prison and fully abandoned. And if God visited me, God will visit you. That's what I love when I come into a church, and I don't mean this with disrespect, but I love coming into churches, and I see some old ladies and some old men with some white hair and some gray hair and maybe no hair. Amen. You know what that tells me? It tells me if God saw them through, guess what? God's going to see me through too. You know what they're saying? These bones might not be as, as viral as they used to be. They might be a little brittle. They might not be as bouncing the step as they used to be. But God is faithful. Amen. When I see an old man worship and I see that old lady start dancing, something in me says, what they're saying is, these bones, if they could speak, they would speak of the faithfulness of God. 